In this video, we're going to talk about input-output tables, which are a lot like truth tables. Like truth tables, but not quite the same. In a truth table, we tend to have our inputs, P and Q, and then possibly some work like not P and then not P and Q, right, we'll have our inputs, and then we'll have not P, 0, 0, 1, 1, and only then will we have our final output, which is 0, 0, 1, 0. An input-output table is similar, except it doesn't bother showing the intermediate steps. And it doesn't usually show the Boolean expression for our output either. It just gives it a name. And the idea is, is it says the input-output table is, this is the inputs, possible inputs, what outputs are we going to have? Right. So we list all possible input values and their associated output values. And this is really not meant to be the design for a circuit. This is the specifications for a circuit. Given a set of input values, what should the outputs be? So here's an illustration of a circuit. And our input-output table is listing all possible combinations of inputs and wants to know, given this circuit, what are the outputs going to be? So we're really going to have to just start line by line and figure it out. So in this case, we have 1 and 1 are our inputs. And then 1 and 1 means this is a 1, this is a 1, this is a 0, this is a 0. So our input-output table is going to have a zero for that first row. And I'm going to erase all this and work on the next row. So we have one zero. That means we're going to have a one, a zero, a one, and a one. That's going to be a one as our output. And we just go through this. Now we have a 0, 1 as inputs for this third row. We're going to have 1, 0, 1, 1, meaning we can fill that third row with a 1. And then finally, our last row, we have 0, 0, and we're going to have 0, 0, 1, 0. We're going to have a zero in that last row. And if you've worked with circuits at all before, or Boolean expressions, you may recognize this as being an XOR circuit. This is similar to an OR circuit, but it does not, it is not true when both the inputs are true. Right there. So an XOR um, which is not really something we cover in this class because we just barely touch on circuits, is only true if one, if exactly one of the inputs is true. This is an X the input-output table for an XOR circuit. Now, in the real world, just this table might be given to you as the requirements. I might say, I would like you to build a circuit that acts this way. And it's your job to look at that input-output table and say, well, how can I build a circuit from that? And we're going to get there in a few videos, and I'll show you how to do that. Let's look at another one. In this input output table, we again have four rows. 
Um, what you can do is you can pause the video now and take a minute to try to solve this yourself and to fill out your in the input output table yourself and then I'll go over it. Okay, so on this first row we have inputs one and one. So let's see, this becomes a zero and we have a one and a zero is a zero. And down here for this and, uh, we have a one. We have a one or a zero is a one. And this is the Q, which is a one value. So we have one and one, we have an output of one. So for our first row, we have an output of one. So I'm gonna erase all this and do it for the next line. One, zero, one, a one, a zero, a one, this is a zero, so this is a zero. And then we have this third row, zero, one. So this becomes a zero, zero. This and down here gives me a zero, zero, and zero. Take a look at that last row. Okay, we have a one here. Zero, 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 zero. So looking at this input output table, what does it tell you about the circuit? It should tell you that this circuit is way more complicated than we need because this is really just an AND circuit. We could do the exact same thing by having a single AND and P and Q and R. And we're not gonna spend time, as I mentioned in a previous video, we're not gonna spend time doing re circuit reductions, but you should be able to look at this input output table and say, wow, that's, a table for an and. Right, so this is this is an and. Um, this would be the truth table for an and circuit.